All right, guys, we're back here talking about more A major shapes. Um, this next one, uh, the last one we did, actually was the, the on top of version, what I call the E form. Um, we're going to do one more where we actually start here on the A, but then jump up to the seventh position and play. Okay, a couple different names for this form. Um, some folks call it the Dorian form uh, for reasons we'll get into later. I call it the D form because all the D chords, if it's like a movable D chord, it really becomes an A chord. That's a so-called D form. Um, and so anyway, let's get to it. It's just another handy way to play um, to play a D, uh, an A scale or any scale for that matter, if you know the pattern. So here it goes. Let's talk you through it. We're going to start here in fifth position on the sixth string. Uh, I'm using my first finger, but we're not going to stay here for too long. We're actually going to shift right up to seventh position. Okay. Uh, so now we're on seventh fret. And then while we're on the sixth string in seventh fret, we're going to go one, three, four. Okay, so just that little trick right there. We go first finger, slide up, seventh fret. Playing the ninth fret here with the third finger, tenth fret with the fourth finger. Okay. Now next string, fifth string, we do one three. Okay, so so far we got three, four, one, three. Um, now, as we had mentioned in previous videos, um, one of the ways you can negotiate this little switch back to sixth position that you have to do um, is on your way up, instead of doing one three, go one four, hand squeezes together. And then you can shift back and grab the sixth fret on the fourth string with your first finger. Okay. So now after this, we're gonna do two of these one, two, four, one, two, four patterns back to back like this. So we go one, two, four, one, two, four. Again, one, two, four, one, two, four. Alright? Squeeze again, jump up to the seventh fret, and do two one three four patterns back to back. That's where the octave is. That's where the A is. I just kind of chose to continue a little bit so that we can utilize more of the, the string up here. Because when you're playing a solo or something like that, you're not just going to play from A to A. You have some probably pretty boring solos. So we can go a little higher as well. So again, let's try and review all this. We've got starting here on the A so we can hear that sound. A, slide up to the seventh fret. Go one, three, four. One, four. Back to the sixth fret, we're gonna do two one, two, four patterns back to back. One, two, four, one, two, four. Squeeze again, we'll do one, three, four patterns back to back. One, three, four. So now let's work our way back down. Two, four, three, one patterns back to back. Four, three, one, four, three. One, put the squeeze in there because we need to shift into sixth position. So let's do, uh, we're going to do four, two, one patterns. Two of those back to back. Four, two, one, four, two, one. We got a quick uh, four, one pattern right there with a little squeeze in there. You saw that? And then three, four, one. And we can shift right back. All right, so now a couple times slow. Two, three, go. So one and four, squeeze. Yeah. One, two, four. One, two, four. Squeeze. One, three, four. One, three, four. Four, three, one. Four, three, one. Squeeze. Four, two, one. Four, two, one. Squeeze. Time so you can just play along and I'll stop talking. Yeah. 
know. Anything else? Yeah, Anything and for that? those of you practicing your, your shredder fingering for the A major scale, you're going to notice a lot of similar notes between this and that one. Really, the only difference is kind of the beginning as we as we slide up and shift up this the sixth string. Right, shredder scale does this. Moves up bit by bit. Our scale goes. Ah, <laughs> busted. <laughs> Shredder scale. <laughs> um, so there you go. Next video we'll talk about how all these scales kind of fit together. All right. Have fun. <laughs>